at number five this week. Oceans, it's a Hillsong United hit. Visitors to the Australia-based church won't hear. Speaking in Atlanta, Pastor Brian Houston said, when it comes to influence, predictability is our enemy because you never get influence from doing things the way they've always been done. You'd get tired of singing Oceans? No, because <laughs> I'm a lyrics person. The church also no longer sings this mega hit. to number four. I go, the, grace is right there. the Energizer Bunny of gospel music, Ty Tribbett, is now a television host. His Joyful Noise show premiered Sunday morning on BET, filling the time slot of Bobby Jones' gospel, which filled that slot for more than 30 years. Now to number three. Oh, this is who you are. Yeah, this is who you are. Grammy-winning duo for King & Country moved from music to movies with Priceless, a dramatic thriller about human trafficking, starring Joel Smallbone. You are beat. What are you hauling? I'm nothing, really. No, why would you have to go through all that? You're just hauling nothing. It's a pretty gritty role for you, too. Yeah, it was. Very, very different to, obviously, our life yeah. story. At number two. Did you get your head or anything? Did you feel lightheaded or This video of Tim Tebow has sparked a social media frenzy. It shows the new baseball player rushing to the side of a fan who had suffered a seizure, standing by his side and praying for him. The former NFL quarterback was signing autographs after his first minor league baseball game. You remember people are important and being, what you can do for people and loving people and yeah, baseball is awesome. It's something that I'm so excited that I get a chance to pursue, but what's important is lives matter, people matter, and this young man, he mattered. Now to number one. This is what it looks like to praise God through the storm. Despite devastating damage from Hurricane Matthew, members of Dominion Fellowship Church in Palm City, Florida still held services. Studio 5 met Pastor Washington doing dishes at a local shelter just the day before. One of the things that we're always able to do and have the opportunity to do as Christians and as a body of Christ is to take advantage of the opportunities that God gives us to connect with people that we would normally not be able to connect with. Well, it's Wednesday, and Ephraim is back with us. <laughs> Good to be I with you. Say it's Thursday, so this <laughs> one was broadcast. You were just down in Florida. Tell us about uh, your experiences there. I'm producer there, um, and number one, it's always devastation is horrible to see. Mm -hmm. We travel often with Operation Blessing. It's nice to see that because we're not just coming to cover your story, but we're coming to uh, watch and document relief being delivered to you. But to find that pastor washing dishes and serving despite having suffered loss, saying this is an opportunity for, for, for me to show the, the hands and feet of Christ. These are people who I probably would not meet. They probably wouldn't cross the door of my church, but this is opportunity for us to take the church to them. And it's beautiful to see that. We know it plays out in Haiti because we're there as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's just wonderful to see that in times of disaster, that's a time for the church to rise up. Absolutely. It's the time to strike back. You got that right. Disaster is struck. It's time to strike back. Amen. Uh, let's, let's show people we love them. That's that. You that God that. loves them. And let's praise in the middle of in the anything middle of, and, and everything. <laughs> yes. That's what makes yeah. us different. <laughs> well, Tebow, T, Tim Tebow, he's back in the news. And here he is, his first minor league game. First at bat. Yes. He hits a home run. <laughs> the legend grows. And then after oh. he's signing autographs, Somebody collapses, I, he prays for them, mm -hmm. and the seizure stops. Lays hands on him, and I heard several media reports on this story, and one of the commentators uh, reports on one. This is a Tebow fan. So you have a seizure, and you wake up to Tim Depot laying hands on you, kind of think, whoa, I had a seizure. But his heart, I mean, it, it's just so amazing. God's hand is definitely on him. We see it time and time again from birth uh, to now, uh, it's, it's amazing. To him to have a, a shot at a baseball career after a football career that doesn't pan out, uh, he's an amazing man. He's got a book coming out, too, I know, in the near future. Yeah. Did the fan get the autograph? 
I don't know if you got the autograph, <laughs> but that prayer was good. <laughs> you need something to memorialize you that got prayer. That right, I yeah, tell you. We need to follow up on that yes, fan and see what happens. Absolutely. All right, we've got King and Country. They come out with the movie Priceless, mm -hmm. uh, and you've seen it. I have not seen it yet. This is one, unfortunately, that I have not seen. I've seen clips uh -huh. uh, of it. I've interviewed them extensively about it, uh, and I'm very excited to see it. Uh, what I love about the story is it's, it's all inspired by real, true events, and it's actually a story that their brother, Ben, who is a filmmaker, mm -hmm. uh, discovered 10 years ago. He was doing a documentary uh, on this gentleman's life, uh, and the gentleman essentially decides uh, he's a crime boss, what would happen if I take my skills that I apply to, you know, major crimes and use it for good? And uh, the, the human trafficking element is a big part of the story. And it's really a, a man who suffers tragedy and then is on this great adventure to try and make things right. Oh, you uh, got me hooked things. just for that storyline. Yeah, it's crime good. boss. <laughs> you you got my skills yes. For good. Can you imagine? And you go, that's a great idea. Uh, uh, I'd like to see that movie. Yes, what, for sure. What got them interested in it? Is it, it I, I find it fascinating. Somebody mm -hmm. going from a music career, mm -hmm. uh, they're they're winning awards, they're doing great, Absolutely. and suddenly they want to take on human trafficking in it, a movie. What what started it all is early in their career. Um, they started as part of their ministry uh, trying to make men realize the value and worth of women, thus the song Priceless um, being written. And in doing that, they said that literally when they would make the call or do things at concerts, they were always amazed at the response, but also a bit saddened to say, mm -hmm. this generation has lost this element of valuing women and men treating women with respect and valuing them as the prize that God has made them and them being priceless. So that started it. And then after the song, they went to their brother, who's the filmmaker, and said, what if we tried to make a movie about this? And then some days later, Ben comes to them and says, you know what, there was this documentary I was working on 10 years ago that I think will be perfect. So it just continues with their, their message that's, going, I think, going to go on for a long time. Both of the married men value their wives and families, want to see that spread abroad. Well, the rape culture has certainly been in the news recently. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And you, you look at the, the actions within our culture, mm -hmm. uh, the sexualization of all women, mm -hmm. Uh, and, and you go, how can we come back from absolutely, this? Absolutely, absolutely. And we've seen things, um, it's sad, but even as we prepare as journalists to go and cover big events, sporting events, the Olympics, that we now have to think, well, what sex trafficking is going on at these sporting events that is attracting men from all over the world? What sex trafficking can we fight? Because it that's where it happens very often and on an even larger scale. It's sad that we're at this point. It is sad. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I actually worry, can our culture be redeemed? Mm -hmm. uh, we've turned into a hookup culture. Uh, it's not a dating. It's not, no, certainly not a no, courting no, scene. No, we've gone from courting to dating to um, these meaningless encounters. And you go, how, how, can, how can we come back? I mean, it's we, seconds away. We do need to Absolutely. pray. Absolutely. Got to ask you this. Mm -hmm. Hillsong says they don't want to sing their, their <laughs> favorites. And I'm, I'm responding to it. It's like, are, are, we, are you kidding? I felt it's like saying we're not going to sing the Psalms anymore. What? I felt the exact same way. Um, Brian Houston, the pastor of the, the Sydney, Australia-based megachurch there, campuses all over the world now, uh, was at the Catalyst Conference in Atlanta last Friday. And he was speaking of the church being innovative and making sure that it stays with the times so that it can continue to have influence. And he said, the enemy of influence is predictability. Mm -hmm. And in saying that, he goes, you'll probably be surprised to know, we don't sing oceans because it's what you expect from us. It's predictable. As much as people love it, we don't sing it very often. And can you believe that Shout to the Lord was 1993. They yeah. don't sing that at all <laughs> anymore. And it's because he wants to push the songwriters to continue to be innovative and to write things for yeah, today. The new songs. Yes. The new songs. Absolutely. Psalms, here, hymns, spiritual songs, the new ones. But boy, I like the old ones. I do too. <laughs> I do too. And I play them over <laughs> and over again. <laughs> I heard a musician one time say, well, nobody ever asked Vincent Van Gogh to 
to paint Starry Night oh, again. Yeah, that's true. Uh, <laughs> and, and in an art form, you want to constantly be pressing and doing the new. Mm -hmm. uh, and but at the same time, I know, I know. The blessing is that Hillsong has been at doing the new and doing it well for sure. years. So we, we can so. prayerfully depend on that. All right. Well, if you want to mourn Hillsong, <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> you can go to Ephraim's Top Five. You'll catch his show, Studio Five. It's available on Roku, Apple TV, on our app, or you can go to cbn.com slash studio five and you can catch all the latest. Ephraim, thank you. Thank for you. Being here. Pleasure.